I don't know when or how it came to be that we believe we must earn happiness. We must work hard, we must do the right things, and only if we do these things, then we are allowed to be happy. But this is very wrong because we deserve happiness. It's our birthright. We were created for the purpose of experiencing joy and satisfaction. However, there's another side of the coin. Another reason we are here, to understand suffering and how to conquer it. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about suffering. Yes, suffering is real. It's something all of us face and must deal with. No getting by in life without it. But let me discuss my point of view on suffering. I don't believe the purpose of, a, of us experiencing suffering has anything to do with the necessity of understanding suffering or that we must suffer, but more so that we must discover how to be triumphant over suffering. Now let me back up a little bit to be more clear on my point of view. I do believe we must experience suffering. If this wasn't the case, then it would not be such a prevalent thing in our lives. However, I don't believe we have to remain in a state of suffering. Matter of fact, I believe our purpose in life to experience suffering is to experience suffering and to conquer it. But that we do not necessarily need to suffer. Now here is why I believe we must experience suffering. In my viewpoint on the meaning of life, I believe we experience suffering for the purpose of becoming triumphant over it, for the purpose of evolution, but evolution for the universe, for all created things and all things to come. If you are currently curious as to how I came to view life this way, here's how. I have taken a look at my life from the past to the present. From this I have recognized a few things that I consider important. I have recognized the times in which I allowed stress, lack of self-esteem, resentment, fear, or anger take a forefront in my life. When I did allow these things to take the forefront in my life, things in my life became stagnant. I couldn't obtain the jobs I wanted. I started making destructive choices in my life. I caused pain to others and many other things. Instead of my life progressing and me seeing growth towards the things I desired, I saw myself traveling further away from reaching my goals and obtaining my desires. I also saw the destruction of things I had obtained when I was in a better or positive mindset. For example, if I had been establishing good credit, I would start making bad financial decisions. Or if I was doing pretty well living life on my own, I would find myself getting into a toxic relationship with someone. There are many more examples. But these are just a quick example to give you an idea of how I came to associate being triumphant over suffering with how I came to associate being triumphant over suffering with your life's purpose and your birthright for happiness. More specifically, on how being triumphant over suffering has an effect on growth and product productivity. So back to happiness and how being triumphant over suffering is necessary. Being happy is your birthright. Why? Because being happy in this life means being triumphant over suffering. We all know suffering is a definite in this life. So being triumphant over suffering is being happy. Being happy is definitely a choice, and it's a choice you must make every day and every moment. 
will it be easy? Heck no. <laughs> because suffering is ever present and a recurring issue. That's why the choice to be happy is necessary. Find a way to be happy no matter the situation or circumstance is your purpose in life. My purpose in life. The person who's mad that you cut them off in traffic's purpose in life. Our purpose in life is to be happy even though we are constantly presented with reasons to shrink back and be in despair. Happiness is your birthright because it is the reason why you were born. Happiness is your birthright because it is the reason why you were born. If we look at everything in this world and look at its most minute function, we discover that it has a purpose that serves a greater purpose than itself. The same is true for us. I believe every situation, heartbreak, relationship, event in our life is for a greater purpose. I believe our ability to be triumphant over certain things and find success in getting our desires met are our most minute function and our greater purpose is to foster productivity and growth using the victories we have over suffering. Don't shy away from happiness. Don't feel as if being happy is somehow unnatural because it's as natural as experiencing suffering in this life. The only difference between suffering in this life and being happy is that being happy is your mission and suffering is something that you experience while completing your journey. Here's a little side note that I came to think about while completing this uh, video and having this discussion. I wanted to end this video with a feeling that I encouraged someone or inspired someone to get on their feet and be excited about every day. But I have to be honest, I don't feel like this video will do that. When I created this video on being happy and it being our birthright, I thought I would discuss all the ways and reasons to be happy, but this discussion kind of steered itself. And I'm thankful for that because honestly, excuse me, because honesty and truth must always take the forefront of my videos. The truth is, it's not that easy to say, I'm going to be happy. And then magically you're happy every day because we must address the issue of suffering when discussing happiness. Being happy and experiencing joy every day is something you must choose for yourself and you must understand that it, will, that it will require effort but I will leave you with this piece of encouragement it will get easier honestly it will it will get easier once you put into practice an effort to be happy and experience joy every day these things will start to seek you out yes it will seek you out and will begin to require less effort on your behalf to experience. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Until next time, let's agree to live happy one moment at a time.